Number 41. Suppose you have three different metals. You got A, B, and C. When metal A and metal B come into contact, B corrodes and A does not corrode. But when metal A and C come into contact, A corrodes and C does not corrode. Based on this information, which metal corrodes and which metal does not corrode when B and C come into contact? Okay. So the easiest method to do this here is to basically go back to basics, right? We're going back to like, I don't know, kindergarten math. And we're going to draw out a number line. And we don't need exactly numbers here, but let's just say that we have my beautiful number line. That's good. And it, it doesn't even matter that we have a zero in the middle. I mean, we can have a zero, but... The, the main thing here is that as we're going all the way to the left, that's becoming more negative. And as we're becoming more to the right, that becomes more positive. Now we're talking about corroding and corrosion. So the basis here is that when you have a spontaneous reaction and something is corroding or undergoing corrosion, this only happens at the oxidizer or it's, you know, the metal is undergoing oxidation, and that's always at the anode. So the rule here is that when you actually look in the back of the textbook with all those appendix values, right, you see all those like cell potentials. We've seen them throughout this, this chapter. Just know that the lower value you get or the more negative is always the one that is going to be more likely to oxidize. And because it's more likely to oxidize, it's going to be more likely to corrode. So that's the, that's the, that's the mentality here. So the lower the number, the more negative you're going to oxidize, you're going to corrode. The higher the number, you're going to not corrode, and you're going to redu reduce. So maybe we'll put, you know, oxidation on this side and reduction on the other side. And maybe I'll just put over here that this is going to be corrosion. Okay. So now we have everything set. So now we're just, just going to pin them up and see what's going on. So it seems like I have three metals. So I got, I got, I got three highlighter colors. So here is metal A. Here is metal B. And here is metal C. All we have to do is put them on the number line. Well, let's see. When metal A and B, so these guys, come into contact, B corrodes and A does not. So with that sentence, on the number line, if I put A over here, let's put A in the middle of the playing field. If B is corroding, is B going to be lower or higher than A? Yeah, it's going to be lower. Because if B is the one that's corroding, it has to be the one that's going farther down to be becoming oxidized. The more lower the number, the more likely to oxidize, the corrosion is over here. So now let's add metal C into the mix. Now they say when metal A and C come into contact. So now I already placed A. So let's see. So letter, uh, letter, metal A corrodes and C does not. So A now is the corrosion. So if A is here, and this one is corroding. Remember, keep in mind, the one that's shifted down over here is the one that's going to corrode. So if A is corroding, is C going to be here to the left of A? Or is it going to be to the right of A? Yeah, it's going to be to the right of A. Because the more lower down you go, that's the corrosion. And since they said that metal A was corroding, it had to have been closer to oxidation than C. So now we have the perfect setup. B is the most likely, A is in the middle, and C is the least likely to corrode. 
So now it says, based on this information, what metal corrodes and what metal does not? B and C. So metal B and metal C, let's just move this out of the way. Which one is going to corrode? The one that's more likely to go down downstream, right? So metal B is the one that's going to corrode. And metal C, since it's all the way up here next to the reduction, there's no corrosion over here. So no corrosion. And that is your final answer. B is going to be the one that corrodes and metal C does not. And there you go. Lovely number lines. I haven't, I haven't drawn a number line in a while, but it, it gets the job done. What do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Let's just keep learning, all right? And we'll be popping out videos, if you know, for a long time to come. So hopefully with all the videos that we have on this channel, um, you guys can learn all your classes. And check the channel out. At the moment, we have physics, chem, and math. So we got three subjects under our belt, hopefully more soon. Uh, so just check it, check it out from time to time. Hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.